Well, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to Monday Night Raw tonight in London, England. But unfortunately, before we get to tonight's events, we got to look to earlier today, the almighty Bobby Lashley, an exclusive interview with WWE.com when he was ambushed by the street champ Solo Sokoa backstage. We have no news on why Solo Sokoa ambushed Bobby Lashley, but what we know is he put the hurt on the almighty. And this is, of course, coming 24 hours after Lashley just competed against Brock Lesnar at Clash of the Castle to defeating the Beast Incarnate to become the number one contender towards the WWE Championship. Lashley obviously not 100% after that matchup last night in Principality Stadium, but here today in the O2 Arena, just trying to get a word from Lashley when Saul Sokoa did this. Sending Lashley off that ledge through the table and Bobby Lashley left worse for wear earlier today here in London, England. Well, let's take you back to last night. Clash of the Castle, Principality Stadium. We kicked off what was an extraordinary event with Bobby Lashley, one-on-one -on -one with the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. And Lashley got the victory in the end, but it was not without a fight. He went through an F5 in the ring and even outside the ring from the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar, who threw everything he had at Lashley, but in the end, Lashley able to overcome the Beast and stake his claim at the front of the line to become the number one contender towards who we know now as Seth Rollins for the WWE Championship. And of course, that matchup signed for Survivor Series November the 19th in Madison Square Garden. Seth Rollins versus Bobby Lashley for the WWE Championship. But after the matchup with Lash or excuse me, with Lesnar last night and the ambush by Sol Sokoa earlier today, the game Triple H took to Twitter and had this to say. I don't see a world where Bobby Lashley will be 100% by Survivor Series. Between last night's match and the events of earlier today, Lashley has fractured ribs and will be sidelined for an undetermined amount of time. Therefore, we will find a new challenger for Seth Rollins on November the 19th. Very unfortunate news coming from the game Triple H, who also went on to say this. I am officially announcing a six-man Deadly Games Eliminator kicking off next week on Raw. Two triple threat matches with the winners meeting on November the 4th at Saturday night's main event. The winner of that match will challenge for the WWE title at Survivor Series. Lashley goes down, opportunity arises. We're going to talk all about this tonight, ladies and gentlemen, as the story continues to develop live right here on Monday Night Raw. live tonight from the O2 Arena in London, England, and in your main event, it is a London street fight. Put the Dukes up as Tommaso Ciampa, Karrion and Cross look to settle their issue when anything goes and no holds barred. Falls count anywhere in your main event, live in London, England. Last night kicked off a two-week international tour for Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown. Special entrance, special vibe. It is going to be a fun couple of weeks right here on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring at a combined weight of 478 pounds, Sami Zayn. And we kick things off with a little bit of tag team action as advertised. The prize fighter Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn making the trip to the O2 tonight. And these two men have had their issues with the A-list superstar The Miz who has not picked up a loss in quite some time. The Miz enlisting some help of the Intercontinental Champion LA Knight who says he has a score to settle with Sami Zayn. And now we have this tag team matchup on hand kicking us off live on Monday Night Raw. I'll tell you what, it's put up or shut up for The Miz tonight. How many times are you going to step foot in the ring with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn thinking you're going to come up with a victory and then come up short? Go big or go home. You better get the W or you better stop running your mouth, Miz. Let's not turn this into a 
Miz Hate Show. Let's kick things off tonight in London. And their opponents, first from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, the Miz. And really, those issues that we refer to with the Miz and Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, it's really one-sided. Kevin Owens defeated the Miz in one-on-one -on -one action. Sami Zayn defeated the Miz in one-on-one -on -one action. They got their victories. They're moving on. But the Miz so obsessed with searching for his first victory in, in what, a calendar year? We got to check the record books. It's been some time since the Miz got his hand raised. He won another match against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn and won them both at one time. Luckily, there's somebody else in the locker room has got a bone to pick with Sami Zayn, and that's being the Intercontinental Champion, L.A. Knight. And there's a lot to talk about with L.A. Knight and Sami Zayn in that situation that may have flown under the radar, but we're going to break it all down as Monday Night Raw kicks off from the O2 Arena in London, England. And from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, L.A. Knight. Let's rewind the clock a little bit. Last month at Unforgiven, L.A. Knight defeating Cedric Alexander and Sami Zayn in a triple threat match to retain his Intercontinental Championship. A matchup where he pinned Cedric Alexander, not Sami Zayn. Ever since then, there's been a little bit of speculation that Sami Zayn itching for another opportunity at LA Knight's Intercontinental Championship. Doesn't blame himself, you know, for the loss, isn't, isn't not taking accountability for coming up short and unforgiven, but recognizes that he wasn't pinned and wants to get back in the ring with LA Knight. We caught a message from LA Knight earlier today backstage who said, I don't know why everybody's talking about Sami Zayn getting another opportunity as if I didn't wipe the floor with him and Alexander at the same time last month in Chicago. War of words in a sense between Sami Zayn and LA Knight. But nonetheless, we are here for Monday Night Raw and Sami Zayn and The Miz kicking off this tag team matchup in a big way for the Great Liberator. Of course, talking about the Intercontinental Championship, just 24 hours ago in Principality Stadium, LA Knight retaining his Intercontinental Gold against the big strong boy Tyler Bate, who had been on a roll here on Monday Night Raw for weeks, just last week pinning the WWE Champion Sami Zayn, or excuse me, Seth Rollins, not Sami Zayn, <laughs> inside the squared circle. Unfortunately, LA Knight cracking that momentum 24 hours ago. Kevin Owens now getting tagged in as KO and Sami who've been really searching some new ground as of late. I've really taken a back seat almost in a sense and really gone back to the drawing board the last few months on Monday Night Raw. It was almost a hostile takeover of the Kevin Owens and Sami show for months. But ever since Kevin Owens came up short to Brock Lesnar back in August at SummerSlam, again, it says this KO and Sami have gone back to the drawing board and have gone back to doing what made them brought to the dance, and that's fighting inside the squared circle. LA Knight getting tagged in. Let's see what the Intercontinental Champion still has left in the tank. After a hard fought encounter against Tyler Bate last night, evidently, maybe his bell's still a little rock. Miscalculating that knee from the top. And Kevin Owens gonna look to take advantage of it. With a big time exploder taking down the Intercontinental Champion. Kevin Owens, his tag team partner Sami Zayn may be the one eyeing up an Intercontinental title matchup, but I'm sure Kevin Owens would love to pin the champion as well. Maybe Kevin Owens wants a shot at LA Knight. Or just a shot at any championship in general here on Monday Night Raw. It's Kevin Owens and LA Knight going at it in the corner. And again, speaking of the championship, what an interesting situation that kicked us off tonight, really earlier in the day here at the O2 Arena. Bobby Lashley, originally the number one contender for the WWE Championship at Survivor Series. Ambushed for one reason or another. We still have not gotten a word from Solo Sokoa. Ambushed by the street champ backstage. Unfortunately, the battle with Lesnar, the ambush from Solo, it all stacked up. Lashley's got fractured ribs and he's gonna be on the shelf and not will be and will not be back, excuse me, in time for November the 19th at Survivor Series. So what is Triple H? Elect to do instead with Lashley on the side. Says six Monday Night Raw superstars are going to get an opportunity next week. Dublin, Ireland on Monday Night Raw. Sami Zayn is a big time exploder on the Intercontinental Champion. And we're going to see two triple threat matches next week. Now wait to see who's going to be participating in those. We'll find out tonight in this broadcast. And the winners of those two matches will meet on that special Saturday night's main event live premiere, 5 p.m. Eastern time. 
Saturday, November the 4th. And the winner of that match will fight Seth Rollins at Survivor Series. High tension here in the O2 Arena. A lot of superstars itching for championship opportunity up and down the Monday Night Raw locker room. Speaking of the such, Sami Zayn in there with the Intercontinental Champ, LA Knight, right now. If Zayn can win this matchup, especially if he can pin LA Knight, you gotta believe Sami Zayn is gonna be in line for a future championship match. And Zayn was picking up some momentum. The most recent loss is that matchup at Unforgiven, where again, he was not pinned. He, he accepts the loss. We have said that. We have gotten that word from Sami Zayn. He is not undermining LA Knight's victory on that night, but recognizes he was not pinned and wants another round one-on-one -on -one with the Intercontinental Champion. You can't fault Sami Zayn for that. Nonetheless, The Miz getting tagged in. A little bit of offense by the Intercontinental Champion himself. The Miz better watch because Sami Zayn's about to crawl right by him here and get a much-needed tag to Kevin Owens. The Miz searching for opportunity tonight, searching for that victory. Better keep his eye on the ball. Can't be going back and forth between these two dangerous men. It's Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Look at the Miz trying to put something together. Getting the one count there. Kevin Owens denying the Miz getting a satisfactory victory. And still to come tonight, we want to thank you for joining us already here at the O2 Arena, London, England. Again, continuing us on a two-week international tour. This Friday night on SmackDown, we'll be right back here in the O2 in London, England. Next Monday night, Dublin, Ireland for Raw. A week from Friday, Glasgow, Scotland for Friday night SmackDown. That's all on the road to November the 19th, Madison Square Garden, New York City for Survivor Series. Again, still to come tonight, London Street Fight, Tommaso Ciampa, Karrion Cross. Some unsettling differences between those two men looking to even the score tonight in your main event. Miz taking Kevin Owens over. And he's in enemy territory right now. The Intercontinental Champion, LA Knight, taking a cheap shot on the prize fighter. Well, Knight, not the legal competitor that goes without saying, but laying out Kevin Owens at ringside with the DDT, and then the Miz gonna take advantage. And the Miz real happy about that double team offense. I'm surprised LA Knight decided to team up with this loser. I'm sorry, was that not unbiased? Nonetheless, The Miz better get back inside the ring because once again, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn relying on each other as a team would. And Zayn is your fresh competitor. And look at this, Sami Zayn allowing The Miz to make the tag. Once the Intercontinental Champion, LA Knight, inside the squared circle, took to world backbreaker, and down goes the champion. Got to believe LA Knight not necessarily 100% after last night's matchup. Blue Thunder Bomb. But LA Knight kicks out. Zayn used that Blue Thunder to defeat The Miz a few weeks ago on Raw. Unfortunately, the Intercontinental Champion as tough as they come. Knocked over the top rope that time. The last of a dying breed at ringside as he calls it. On spaghetti legs and Sami Zayn going to knock him back on his ass. Tope Suicida by the great Liberator, who is picking up some massive momentum in this tag team match. They have spoken too soon as LA Knight sending Zayn into the barricade, catching his feet but gets dropped with the neck breaker. And business picking up in this opening tag team matchup on Monday Night Raw, 24 hours after an amazing clash at the castle. The replay is available right now, one of the biggest cards of the year. Maybe our best card of the year last night in Cardiff. Referee's at a count of seven. We need to get this fight back inside the squared circle before we see a double count out and nobody gaining momentum from the victory tonight. There you go, back inside the ring at the count of eight. And Sami Zayn back in control of this contest momentarily. The Continental Champion LA Knight on roller skates right now, but Zayn knocking him back down the sides with the double axe hammer. Zayn looking good. It's a counter by Knight, counter by Zayn. LA Knight may feel a sense of urgency to get back in this matchup, does not want to award Sami Zayn. It could be a milestone victory tonight. Into the bridge, almost got him there. LA Knight knows that if Zayn and Kevin Owens find a way to get the victory tonight, then Zayn's plea for Intercontinental Championship matchup may be taken under consideration. And Zayn now looking to split the difference. LA Knight. Took out Kevin Owens a few moments ago. Zane gonna give the Miz a taste of their own medicine. 
And now back inside the squared circle. But LA Knight takes control. And Zayn and LA Knight, they know it's at stake right now. The war of words that's been behind the curtain over the last few weeks. These two men coming to blows, fighting tooth and nail. Zayn wants the Intercontinental Championship opportunity. LA Knight wants to put Zayn behind him. Move on to future challengers. For the Defiant Knight. Taking down Sami Zayn, looking to bring his momentum in this match to a screeching halt. There's a tag made of The Miz, who somehow is still on his own two feet after getting dropped spine first on the apron moments ago. A tag made. Kevin Owens in here. And wait a minute, little roll reversal. Package pile driver super kick. Usually with Owens on the delivering end of that pile driver, mixing it up that time, and maybe not the same emphatic force might have cost him. Nonetheless, great offense by Owens and Zayn, who once again are looking for a little payback as LA Knight feels the wrath of Kevin Owens at ringside. Oh, and the Miz with a shot on Sami Zayn. Well, I guess all fair in love and war. Miz catching a kick. Kevin Owens could have been looking for the stunner. Owens says otherwise. Kevin Owens not afraid to bring the fight to anybody inside of the squared circle, especially not the Miz. Can't overlook the Miz. As much as his win-loss record may not be in this, the column he would like, may not be a favorite in this matchup. Former WWE Champion Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn cannot take him lightly. This is a huge reversal there. Look at the cover. Will that do it? But Sami Zayn's wheels are still rolling. Now, this is a physical tag team matchup to kick us off on Raw. I don't think anybody expected this kind of matchup between Owens, Zayn, Miz, and Knight. But here we are, London, England, O2 Arena. And these four men, like them or not, we're really talking about the Miz in that sense. Putting on a show. Now the Miz, he has got Kevin Owens wary right now. The Miz desperate for victory. Kevin Owens trying to shoot up. Absorb the punishment. On the back of his t-shirt says, just keep fighting for a reason. Kevin Owens will not stop until he hears a bell. Miz squashed up into the corner. And the Miz is down. Kevin Owens goes for the springboard moonsault. Didn't get all of it. Might have caught the kneecaps in the shins of the Miz. But obviously not enough to get the three count as LA Knight breaking up the pinfall there. This tag team matchup progresses. Kevin Owens, I don't think he has a problem continuing to incapacitate the Miz. I'll tell you that for darn sure. And a cover again, but the Intercontinental Champion is still on his two feet. Oh, wait a minute. I think Kevin Owens has had enough. I think Owens has had enough of the numbers in this matchup. Once again, LA Knight eats the hardest part of the ring. And now back inside the squared circle. Oh, well, the Miz trying to take advantage. Goes for the neck breaker and goes for the face. Oh, the Miz, don't take your eye off the ball. Stunner by Kevin Owens. Into the cover. Thanks for coming, Miz. The losing streak continues. And I think the most notable story is that LA Knight, although he may not have been pinned in this matchup, does take a loss to Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Has Zayn put himself in line for a future championship opportunity? Here are your winners, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Well, a very fun matchup to kick things off tonight from the O2 in London. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn continuing to rise the ranks all over again here on Monday Night Raw. It's a rare Saturday Night production featuring some of the best from Raw and SmackDown. It's coming your way Saturday, November the 4th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. The Road to Survivor Series will make a pit stop in Milwaukee for the return of Saturday Night's main event. Don't miss this exciting night of action. Live November 4th at Saturday Night's main event. We are back live on Raw. We are set for some women's division action because it's Liv in London. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring 
from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan. Well, coming out of class at the castle, there's a lot of news in the women's division that we are going to discuss throughout this next matchup, but most notably, Rhea Ripley, the WWE Women's Championship, officially assigned to Monday Night Raw, full-time. No more universal between Raw and SmackDown. We're going to talk about the SmackDown side in moments. But after Rhea Ripley retained her title over Becky Lynch last night, she is affirming her spot at the top of the Raw Women's Division as the WWE Women's Champion. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, well, this is a very interesting opponent for Liv Morgan tonight. The unexpected Raw debut of Blair Davenport from NXT. Well, this is going to be a good one here on Raw. And from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport. Well, Blair Davenport has been in NXT for quite some time now. Let me pull up the pull up the notes here as she makes her Monday Night Raw debut. I mean, she has fought some of the best of them down in NXT in the black and gold brand, but internationally known has had a lot of history right here in London. Obviously an international superstar. She has held championships. She has won tournaments in stardom. She's won championships in Defiant Wrestling, Fight Forever, ranked number 20 in the top 100 female single wrestlers in 2019 for PWI, for PWI, excuse me. Blair Davenport been around the globe. She has had some success, but now unexpectedly making her Monday Night Raw debut tonight. This is gonna be a hell of a matchup on Heron. Liv Morgan, Blair Davenport right here in London, England. And especially with, again, the news we just found out last night, Rhea Ripley staking her claim atop Monday Night Raw as the women's champion. New competitors rising, gonna make the competition that much more tougher here on Raw. But here we go with Liv Morgan and Blair Davenport. One on one, unexpected matchup, but certainly a welcomed one. As Monday Night Raw from London, England continues as Blair looking to make an impact on her Raw debut. Liv Morgan, I don't think she could have been expecting this challenge tonight. Again, Blair's been down in NXT for a couple of years now. She's made some waves. She's fought some of the best, but now a part of Monday Night Raw and making her debut in International Soils. Soils, excuse me, where she made herself famous. Blair's looking good so far. Liv Morgan, no offense by the Jersey girl, nice kick by Blair. Gotta give credit where it's due, she's got a bad attitude sometimes, but she can certainly push the pace from bell to bell. Big time, Saido into the cover. Early pinfall there, not gonna keep down a former women's champion just that easy, but Blair certainly has all the tools to pick up a monstrous W here tonight on Raw and another swift kick in the corner. Blair Davenport. Gonna make the Monday Night Raw women's division recognize just who the hell she is. Up in the middle ropes, that may have been a mistake. Liv Morgan pulling the rug out from underneath of her. And the Liv, you gotta take advantage. Rookie mistake out of a former champion, and Blair capitalizes. Strong knee to the face. Into the cover she goes, not just yet. And nonetheless, as this matchup continues here tonight on Raw, Again, the WWE Women's Championship, which has been universal between Raw and SmackDown, officially to be uh, assigned, I should say, to the Monday Night Raw brand. As for Friday Night SmackDown, a new championship, the Women's World Championship, will be crowned at Survivor Series. And on the blue brand for the next couple of weeks, they're going to see some qualifying matches, a four-woman elimination match to take place in Madison Square Garden on November 19th to crown SmackDown's first Women's World Champion. A lot of interesting news in the women's division. Competition heating up, opportunities arise. Always brings out the best in each and every competitor. As Liv Morgan is trying to get her feet underneath of her in this matchup on Raw, she sends Blair Davenport to the outside. Remember, just earlier this year, Liv Morgan had a short-lived reign at the women's championship from May to June. Unfortunately, was spoiled by Shayna Baszler. Liv has fallen down the ranks a little bit, but she's doing her best to keep her name floating in the top discussion for future women's championship opportunities. Gotta wonder what's going through the mind of the man, Becky Lynch, after she fought month in and month out. 
to finally become the number one contender for the women's title again. And it was a grueling matchup last night. But in the end, Rhea Ripley retaining the women's championship. You gotta wonder if Becky Lynch is gonna take that loss lying down, or if she is gonna find a way to get back to the top of the drawing board as the number one contender. All remains to be seen, but Rhea Ripley has certainly got a lot of competition eyeing her up here on the red brand. Liv trying to mount some offense there, not able to get the victory just yet. Blair Davenport still into this and looking to make a not only an impact, but looking for her first W here tonight on Raw. Counter, oh, another counter by Liv. Double knees to the jaw. One-upping Blair's one knee earlier on in this matchup. In into the cover. Will that be all she wrote? Not just yet, Davenport's looking for a W in her debut. Blair Davenport, she's gotta get back into this. Might have survived, but not thriving at the moment. Got to look for the fatality of Liv Morgan if she wants to get the W. On the other hand, again, Liv Morgan, as we mentioned, trying to climb the ranks here on Raw all over again and get back to where she was earlier this year as the WWE Women's Champion. Liv now trying to keep her foot on the gas pedal in this matchup. And Blair, exhausted, maybe starting to run in. Face first off the canvas she goes. Blair is in control the first few minutes of this matchup, but Liv Morgan has found a way to flip the switch on Davenport. And now Liv, nice and Seguri, shining wizard maneuver. And Davenport is in retreat, realizing she's in trouble. This is what Liv Morgan needs to do, pedal to the metal, as once again sends Davenport to the outside. Can't get the victory out there, however. Davenport, reversal to take down. And we are getting a treat with the in-ring action tonight. Blair Davenport, Liv Morgan putting on a show in the middle of the O2 Arena, live in London, England. Back inside the squared circle, Davenport snapping her fingers and finding herself back in the momentum. They spoke too soon as Liv Morgan now. Nice takedown. Nothing pretty about it. Ragdolling her opponent. Liv not afraid to get her hands dirty from bell to bell. And Davenport may have saw a window of opportunity at the outside, but Liv Morgan not allowing her to capitalize. The face first goes Davenport out of nowhere. You want to talk about a window of opportunity. Liv saw the lights on and nobody home, and she decided to enter the room into the cover. And that is going to do it. Big time victory for Liv Morgan tonight and a hard fought one at that. Blair Davenport, nothing to be ashamed of. Like I said, she may have a bad attitude sometimes with her history in NXT, but it's gonna be a force to be reckoned with here on Monday Night Raw. Nonetheless, though, Liv Morgan scratching and clawing, and she gets the long-awaited victory, putting herself back in the driver's seat here on Monday Night Raw. Here is your winner, Liv. Big time victory for Liv Morgan. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't mean to sidetrack Liv's victory, but we're getting some breaking news right now regarding next week's kickoff to the Deadly Games Eliminator on the Road to Survivor Series. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the six men that will compete over the next two weeks. Kevin Owens, Sheamus, Sol Sokoa in one triple threat matchup. Shinsuke Nakamura, Tommaso Ciampa, Karrion Cross in the other triple threat. The winners will meet each other November the 4th at Saturday night's main event. So coming your way next week on a special Halloween edition of Monday Night Raw, Nakamura, Cross, Champa. Cross and Champa gonna be in your main event here tonight in London. And then also Solo Sokoa, Kevin Owens, and Sheamus. Those six men have a new opportunity. Who moves on to Saturday night's main event and then punches their ticket to Survivor Series. Coming your way on Sunday night, November the 19th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. It's a live premiere event. It's the 2023 edition of the Fall Classic, the Thanksgiving week tradition. It's WWE Survivor Series. Brought to you by Monday Night Raw and Friday Night Smackdown. And not only is this going to be a night of epic proportions, but it will emanate from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden in New York City. 
Don't Miss Survivor Series live from MSG on November 19th. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back on Monday Night Raw. Solo Sokoa is set for action, but more interesting than that, we caught a word with Solo before he went through the curtain. We'll catch up in moments. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sokoa. You all saw what happened earlier today. Solo Sokoa ambushing the almighty Bobby Lashley during a WWE.com interview. Lashley is officially on the shelf and missing his opportunity to compete for the WWE Championship at Survivor Series. That is because of the street champ, Solo Sokoa. And as we mentioned, we caught a word with Solo right before he went through the curtain for this matchup. And he simply stated, I targeted Bobby Lashley because he was the man at the front of the line. I'm sick of waiting for my opportunity. I want the WWE Championship and anybody in my way is gonna get hurt until I get that title. Solo Sokoa making it loud and clear. Bobby Lashley was the number one contender and he struck earlier today. I assume that is why Solo Sokoa was unintentionally, if you will, awarded an opportunity to compete in the Deadly Games Eliminator to try to avoid any further conflict in the backstage area. Nonetheless, Sol Sokoa is here. He's gonna be in action next week in Dublin, Ireland, but he's here in London tonight, and he's got Montez Ford one-on-one -on -one in action. Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits, good friends of Bobby Lashley. Montez Ford looking to do one good for the Almighty here tonight. Hence the reason he is coming out so high out of the gate. Solo Sokoa taken to the outside. Imagine what Solo's mindset would be if he takes a loss as Ford over the top rope from the heavens, crashing down on the street champ. Man, if Solo Sokoa loses this matchup tonight to Montez Ford, I do not want to be in that backstage area to see who is going to be in Solo's way. Already ambushing Lashley earlier today. Imagine what Solo would cause, the chaos he would cause, if he takes a loss in the lead up to that matchup next week in Dublin, Ireland. Deadly Games Eliminator, Raw Halloween. Gonna be an epic week of action on the road to Survivor Series seven nights from tonight. Nonetheless, Montez Ford looking for his big time victory over the straight champ as he climbs to the top, big time blockbuster. And Ford may have him here into the cover, but not watching the ring awareness. Rope breaks, Sol Sokoa still in this matchup. Springboard and Montez Ford has got his foot pressed all the way down on the gas pedal. 100 miles an hour is Montez Ford in this matchup tonight. Sol Sokoa does not know what hit him. Gotta be careful what you wish for though. The street champ has obviously got a blueprint he is set to follow. Hungry for opportunity, tired of waiting in line, wants his shot at the WWE Championship. Making it short and sweet. Now Solo's gonna be inside the squared circle next week with Kevin Owens, and the man who returns home to Ireland, Sheamus, who unfortunately came up short in that last man standing match last night against Seth Rollins. Imagine if the Celtic Warrior can get through the Deadly Games Eliminator, get one more shot at Rollins at Survivor Series. You gotta imagine Seth Rollins would not be happy about that result. Nonetheless, all remains to be seen what's gonna happen in the Deadly Games Eliminator next week in Dublin, Ireland. But as for tonight in London, Solo Sokoa, Samoan spike on Ford. And it's academic from here, the street champ with a victory over one half of the street profits. Well, after what happened earlier today and the goal that Solo Sokoa has in mind, you gotta believe he was not gonna let anything come between himself and victory tonight. Here is your winner. Well, in my eyes, it's put up or shut up for Sol Sokoa. You made your bed. Now you gotta sleep in it. You want the opportunity, you got it. Make the most of it. Solo took out Lashley. He takes care of Ford. But next week, he's got Sheamus and Kevin Owens. Will Solo Sokoa outlast the Deadly Games Eliminator and make his way to Survivor Series in Madison Square Garden?
Well, we're going to be right back here in the O2 Arena, London, England, this Friday night for a special Halloween edition of SmackDown. And on their way to Survivor Series, it's a qualifying match between Bianca Belair and Shayna Baszler. It is going to be a championship night in London, England. As the United States Championship will be defended, the Bruiserweight Butch World Tag Team Champion from Raw able to accept the challenge by Cody Rhodes from SmackDown. What a match that's going to be right here in London, England. And what about this massive main event? Signed for SmackDown Halloween this Friday. Theory finally defeated Edge last night. Now he goes one-on-one -on -one with the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre, for the World Heavyweight Championship this Friday night on SmackDown. We got some news regarding Raw Halloween next week in Dublin, Ireland. The Intercontinental Championship is set to be defended. Sami Zayn gets his one-on-one -on -one opportunity against the defiant loudmouth, L.A. Knight. And of course, the Deadly Games Eliminator, the Road to Survivor Series, will continue as Sol Sokoa, the man who was just successful moments ago, meets Kevin Owens and Sheamus in a triple threat matchup. The winner of that matchup will move on to fight the winner of this following matchup, being Shinsuke Nakamura, Karrion Cross, and Tommaso Ciampa. The winners head on to November the 4th in Milwaukee, Saturday night's main event. The winner of that moves on to fight Seth Rollins on November the 19th, New York City, Madison Square Garden for the WWE Championship. But as for tonight, here in London, England, it is main event time. And there's a no disqualifications, no count outs, falls count anywhere, London Street Fight. Karrion Cross and Sheamus, or excuse me, Karrion Cross and Tommaso Ciampa, if we can get this thing right here. Set to go one on one in your main event, looking to settle a personal score before now we know they will meet yet again with Shinsuke Nakamura involved in the, threat, involved in the fray next week in Dublin, Ireland. Very interesting situation at hand. And the reason we got Cross and Champa going one-on-one -on -one tonight, very simple. You know, it's something that kicks off a lot of issues between superstars. We see it all the time on Raw, on SmackDown. People hungry for victory and not getting their hopes up. Harry and Cross went one-on-one -on -one with Tommaso Champa several weeks back on Monday Night Raw. Tommaso Champa scoring the victory that night, upsetting, in a sense, the Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross. A loss that did not sit right with Cross. He ambushed Champa after the bell. And there's been a looming issue ever since between these two men. And now it is time to settle the score. Cross looking to get that victory back. Champa looking to keep his momentum red hot. Rolling into the Deadly Games Eliminator next week. With no disqualifications and falls count anywhere in this match. I do not want to see what carrying Cross gets his hands on. Already. Brings the Harbinger of Doom. They don't call him that for no reason. Brings the punishment to the squared circle. A sinister destroyer. A dangerous competitor. Now add no rules and restrictions into play. I would not want to beat Tommaso Ciampa if I was in his shoes tonight. Tommaso Ciampa is as tough as they come. We have seen him in some wars in the past. And he outlasted Cross once. But can he do it again under these stipulations? So who is going to settle the score and who's going to build momentum towards next week's matchup in Dublin, Ireland? Karrion Cross set for action. The O2 Arena ready to see some carnage as the black card Tommaso Ciampa makes his way down the aisle. And his opponent from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds. Tommaso Ciampa! Tommaso Ciampa has kicked down a door of opportunity as of late on Monday Night Raw. Remember last month at Unforgiven, in a similar situation, defeating Solo Sokoa in that False Count Anywhere matchup, defeating Karrion Cross a few weeks ago on Monday Night Raw as well. And Ciampa has been rising the ranks of the red brand as of late, and what an opportunity for Ciampa at hand. Imagine if he can make his way through the Deadly Games Eliminator and challenge Seth Rollins for the WWE Championship. I mean, whatever way you spin it, Seth Rollins is not gonna be happy about whichever of the six men make their way to Survivor Series. Not gonna be an easy task one way or another. We know that for sure. Wasn't gonna be originally with Bobby Lashley. Situation may have just gone from bad to worse for the visionary of WWE. 
Nonetheless, we are live here at the O2 Arena, London, England. Thank you for joining us tonight on Monday Night Raw. It is your main event, Karrion Cross, Tommaso Ciampa in a London street fight. And what about what is coming your way this Friday night? Smackdown Halloween right back here on the O2. It is going to be a championship night on the blue brand. The Women's World Championship qualifiers kick off for Survivor Series as Bianca Belair takes on Shayna Baszler. Cody Rhodes issuing an open challenge to the United States Championship and because of the loophole that the World Tag Team titles of WWE Universal between both brands, although Butch, a Monday Night Raw superstar, gonna be at SmackDown, elects to challenge Cody Rhodes for the United States title this Friday night. And what a main event sign, Austin Theory, Drew McIntyre, a SummerSlam rematch, nearly two months in the making for the World Heavyweight Championship. A loaded night of action this Friday night. Smackdown Halloween right back here in the O2 in London. The next week on Raw, Raw Halloween, the Intercontinental Championship on the line. LA Knight defends the gold against Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens picking up that tag team victory at the top of the hour. How will that play into the momentum of both men next Monday night? And of course, Karrion Cross, Tommaso Ciampa, the two men in the ring right now set to compete as two of the six in the Deadly Games Eliminator. So far, Karrion Cross having his way with the black heart of WWE. You gotta believe Cross is looking to turn all his momentum around tonight. It wasn't just that loss to Tommaso Ciampa that really got Cross fired up. It was about a week later when the Harbinger of Doom competed in the gauntlet matchup against the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, was the last opponent for Sheamus in that matchup and still came up short. Cross has suffered some big time losses as of late and he's looking to turn it all around right here tonight on Raw. Those losses are coming after what was a pretty dominant summer here on Raw for the Harbinger of Doom. Champa just trying to get back into this matchup before he can even think about the Deadly Games Eliminator next week. Going to the outside and remember, London Street Fight, no count outs, no disqualifications. Champa trying to take advantage but Cross having none of it. Champa tried bringing in the stop sign. Cross bring a stop to that. I'll show myself the door. Nonetheless, Champa brought to a knee, but still going to throw some haymakers here to the rib cage of the Harbinger of Doom and a big time lariat to the back of the dome. Stop sign in hand again. Champa looking to take full advantage of the weapons and the stipulation in this matchup. Oh man, using that heavy metal on carry and cross, and not just because he looks like he belongs at a rock concert. Into the cover, not just yet. Anything goes tonight, and Champa, fully aware of that stipulation. As we mentioned, he outlasted Sol Sokoa at Unforgiven in September in a false count anywhere matchup. Similar situation here. No rules or restrictions as Champa back underneath the ring, and he's pulling out the wood, the table, being introduced here in London, England. Oh, the carry across on the tail. And Champa avoids disaster as he just set up that table moments ago. And now Cross sent right to the barricade. Carry Cross looking for that victory tonight. Champa looking for payback after Cross laid him out moments after their last affair. Oh, wait a minute. Now Champa. Champa's got that kendo stick. How many of those did we see broken over the body of Seth Rollins last night in that last man standing match against Sheamus? Kendo stick to the rib cage. Oh, and Cross avoided the second shot. Avoiding disaster and a mean shot right to carry in Cross's face, or I should say Champa's face at ringside. That'll leave you black and blue on Tuesday morning. Harry and Cross, look at that, just taking the wind out of the sails of Tommaso Ciampa and taking the wind out of the sails of this capacity crowd here in the O2. Cross has got a very methodical way of beating you down. He takes his time, he picks you apart. Wrestles his style of matchup. Oh, wait a minute. Weapon for weapon here. Oh, man. Drop your weapons and Ciampa uses his fist. Cross had the stop sign, Champa had the chair, to no avail, and now the kendo stick being brought back into play. Tommaso Champa said, you wanna throw the rules out the window? I will meet you on that rule. Oh my goodness. Oh, but a counter by Cross. Anarchy in the arena tonight. 
Both men just adding welts to the flesh. Let's sing to poor Kane, not meant to come in human contact. I don't think these two men give a damn as Chimpa. Oh, Karrion Cross avoids it. Trading shots back and forth, and the stick just exploding over the spine of the Black Heart. And again, falls count anywhere. The cover at ringside, but Champa able to get the shoulder up. Man, these two men, are they gonna even gonna make it to the Deadly Games Eliminator next week? Next week, excuse me. Might be a walk in the park for Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura was successful last week on Raw. An impromptu match against Apollo Crews. Now Champa breaking the hold. There's only one way to get out of it, and that's start throwing fists. Unfortunately, Cross had some of that scouted. Did his homework on the black card. Now taking the fight again to the floor of the O2 Arena. And Champa is looking worse for wear right now as Karrion Cross may be looking to bring Doomsday upon the black card. Not just yet as he hits that step up knee. And Champa's starting to rally. After a fury of offense by Karrion Cross, the Black Heart back in control. Look at the carnage at ringside. Stop signs, steel chairs, an exploded kendo stick. And now Champa is going for the steel steps, but Karrion Cross avoiding that disaster. Tommaso Champa looking to bring the pain upon the Harbinger of Doom. Wait a minute. There's a counter by Champa. Pendulum momentum starting to swing back and forth this time, and Cross sent it right into the corner of the announce table. Tommaso's fixated on those steel steps as he muscles them up again as Karrion Cross is down, but Champa's just gonna lie in wait. Waiting to strike and using the steel steps on Cross. None of these weapons are meant for this kind of endurance. Karrion Cross may be knocked out cold. But unfortunately for Champa, he's able to survive. These men are going to feel the welts all over their skin. They're going to be black and blue by Tuesday morning. And they wake up in their hotel here in London, England. Wait a minute, Cross. Muscles up Champa again as the fight gets taken back inside the confines of the squared circle. And Champa able to get the shoulder up. Close call. Well, thank you for joining us once more here on Monday Night Raw. Cannot wait to continue this international tour. Look how stacked the next couple of weeks are going to be. SmackDown Halloween this Friday. Raw Halloween next week. The Road to Survivor Series picking up steam already. Now Champa putting Cross to the top. Wait a minute, Cross crashing and burning through the table at ringside. Almost forgot about the wood for a moment. Tommaso Ciampa, however, did not. Karrion Cross placed it upon the ropes, and now Ciampa follows it up with a cactus elbow. Mick Foley would be proud of this extreme offense. Into the cover with the referee a little out of position that time, not able to get it fast enough. Well, Karrion Cross has got to be feeling the splinters off that fall through the table. Definitely going to... Put the momentum of this matchup firmly in Champa's corner. And dare I say, Karrion Cross is now the one fighting an uphill battle. They spoke too soon as there's an overhead throw by the Harbinger of Doom. This is what the street fight is all about. Violence commencing in the middle of the O2 Arena. Back inside the ring we go, and Champa's backed underneath the ring and is pulling out another table. Not satisfied with one, Champa's going for the dose. And Karrion Cross may be out of it. Champa now, the wooden hand trying to use it as a weapon that time. Cross, luckily for him, was able to avoid it, and there's an exploder. Karrion Cross, desperate times call for desperate measures, and he needs to strike. And he may be doing just that as he's got the straight jacket submission hold locked in on the black card. The damage from this matchup starting to take a toll. The offense step starts to add up. And Tommaso Ciampa may be starting to fade. Karrion Cross is seeing red. I don't know if Ciampa's going to be able to get out of this. A lot of offense dished out by the Harbinger of Doom, but there's Ciampa breaking the hold momentarily. 
Not sure how much carry Cross was even able to lock in of that submission hold. How much force he had behind it because of the offense that Champa has this to Cross. Now Champa turning his sights to that second table that he introduced moments ago. Oh, wait a minute. Carry and Cross in a precarious situation. And Champa's wheels are turning. Power bomb through the table. Into the cover. And that'll do it. London, England coming unglued as the black card puts on a showcase of ultraviolence here tonight. A big time victory as the road towards the deadly games eliminator next week certainly continues for these two men. Here is your winner, Tommaso Ciampa. Well, Tommaso Ciampa may have won a battle tonight, but will he win a war? Because next week, he's back inside the ring with Karrion Cross. Add in the X Factor of Shinsuke Nakamura, and who will punch their ticket to Saturday night's main event? Thank you for joining us. It's SmackDown Halloween this Friday. Raw Halloween next Monday night. The Road to Survivor Series continues. Good night from London. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rider.